Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? Thank you for joining me today. Today, instead of my normal online uh, roulette session that I usually post on Wednesday, I'm going to do something a little different. Um, for those of you who have watched me, you'll know we did the snakes and ladders strategy back in August, September. That was shared to us by Jason, my man Jason here. And Jason pointed out the other day that he noticed Chris Mitchell stole his progressions from that strategy and now offers it as his own for the low rollers strategy. So I wanted to speak out for Jason because Jason doesn't have a YouTube channel, though I'd like him to get one because he's a great roulette player. But his strategy is amazing. I played it. We more than tripled our bankroll. It works. Uh, and I don't think it's right for somebody to steal from it and not give it credit. So I wanted to speak out for Jason. Now here are the progressions that the initial progressions that Jason gave me. And um, Chris Mitchell is now putting it out like it's his idea. And I don't think that's right. So I wanted to speak out. But Chris Mitchell also doesn't even do it right. His, his way will get you to bust out. I'll get more into that in a minute. I will also post links down below in the description to Christopher Mitchell's video, to many of the Snakes and Ladders uh, progressions, uh, sessions where you can go and look for yourself and watch the strategy work. Uh, I guarantee you, if you do it the right way, it'll save you money compared to busting out with Christopher Mitchell's system. Uh, basically, he says, Christopher Mitchell, I watched his video, he said, you just bet seven, you Martingale seven times, and then, uh, you know, you should win, and you shouldn't lose. And if you bust out, you should join his inner circle, which you will bust out if you just do seven progressions. There's more to this than seven progressions, and I'll let you guys see it in the link below at, where I test out the strategy, but I'm also going to do some sessions where I go and show you how to do it better than Christopher Mitchell does it. Uh, it, very easy for seven straight numbers to come out, for red to come out seven straight times, black to come out seven straight times. In fact, I've seen them 19 straight times, 20 straight times. Uh, even though that's less often, you definitely see 12, 10, 11 straight times. So you will bust out quick if you just do seven uh, progression bets without having something else. There's a different part of the strategy that will – give you a lot better spin protection. And if you stay and you watch the rest of this video, it will be demonstrated. Also, I have free tools I'm gonna give you guys that you can use when you play online roulette and go from there. So, now I did post, I did film this video uh, probably a few weeks ago and I decided not to post it because I just figured, you know, I'd stay neutral because I didn't want to start anything, but the thing was, is I tried as a newbie roulette player, I did Christopher Mitchell's system and busted out. I did it on camera for my channel. Everybody saw it. And then since then, I've learned to play roulette a lot better. I'm still in the process of testing out different things. And we've had a lot of success on this channel. We have great subscribers and we all kind of just bond together. Now, if you really want the goat of Edamino, of a uh, roulette. Go look at Edamino Roulette's channel. You want to see a guy take a hundred dollars, turn it to two thousand in one session. That's the guy that'll do it and blow your mind. Now, Tom from Edamino Roulette, we became friends, and he's a great roulette player too. He's certainly a much better roulette player than Christopher Mitchell. Okay, Christopher Mitchell system will design to get you to bust out, where he'll make the commission on your losses. So. If, it's, if you want to win and you want to have a better chance of winning, go check out the rest of this video, the Snakes and Ladders strategy, and you'll have a much more likelihood of winning. Now, there's no 100% guarantee with any system, but go check the rest of this video out. Hope you guys enjoy. And, uh, you know, I'm just here to help you all out. All right, thanks. Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? Thank you for joining me today. Today, I just wanted to improve upon Christopher Mitchell's roulette system. If you're like me, I first found out about Christopher Mitchell six months ago. I never played roulette. I went, watched a couple of videos. I actually 
posted the videos of my playing his roulette system so you can watch them for yourselves. I'll put the link down in the description. But the bottom line is Christopher's system will get you to bust out. Martin Galing is okay at times to use, but there's got to be some kind of uh, way to use it smartly so that you don't lose your entire bankroll. Uh, when I first tried his system, did exactly what he said. I, I think I busted out, lost my entire bankroll two times. Um, never played roulette. Uh, you know, it was just experimenting. But bottom line is I'm glad I ran across him because I've been playing roulette ever since on my channel. I originally created this channel just for my video poker slot play. And I still do that. But I've developed a good community of uh, people who watch my videos. And we try different systems. And we're trying to find ways to build bankrolls up and things like that. So bottom line, make a long story short. I found out very quickly his system doesn't work very well. You will bust out. And you will lose your entire bankroll. But there is better ways to do it. And that's what I want to show you. If you want to try his system, try it this way first. Because we're going to add a couple little things in there to protect you from losing your entire bankroll on a bad uh, run. In roulette, I've seen the same color or, or single bets come out 19, 20 times in a row. It happens. And you could... You will not be able to martingale or triple martingale your bet that many times. I've seen the same dozens columns come out 10 times in a row. So it happens. So, And it happens more than you think. So you need to be careful when using this kind of system. Now, there is a way to play these kind of systems. Um, I typically like playing inside numbers more now that I've been playing for a while. But there are smarter, better systems to use. So we're going to improve upon his system real quick so hear me out okay so bottom line is i know a lot of times you like to play two dozens or two columns nothing wrong with that you get you cover 64 percent of the board uh but he will triple martingale on a loss so that he makes his profit and makes up for the loss of the previous spins now the problem with triple martingaling is it goes up quickly so let's say you're starting uh five dollars on each Column and dozen. Well, two of the two of the three, you're betting, and uh, you lose the first bet, ten dollars, no big deal. Second bet, thirty dollars, no big deal. Third bet, all right, now you're losing ninety dollars. Next one goes up to two seventy, two ten, twenty four hundred. You need a big bankroll to make that happen. So, you could start off at a, a cheaper amount. On I play at the same online casino he does, and you could bet as little as fifty cents. So you start with a dollar, and you could go a lot more. You could go six, six spins, and only spend about five hundred. Seven spins, fifteen hundred. Then it gets a little crazy. And if you want to do fifty cents, you know, same thing. You could go about seven spins. Now, that might sound like a lot, but I've seen I've seen nine, ten times come out plenty of times. So here's my adjustment to the system. First of all, you need a stop loss when you play. So if you're just starting out, I would say start with $50, $100. Play a little money. Learn the game of roulette and don't spend thousands of dollars doing it. I was always told you got to spend thousands and thousands of dollars to learn roulette. You don't. Online casinos where you could bet cheap, you could play for as little as 50 bucks and, 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 make 50 cent bets. So there is a way to do his system, but there's a smarter way to do it. So the bottom line is, let's say you're starting with $100. Let's going to say you need a stop loss. I usually go 25 to 35% of my bankroll. So 35 bucks. Let's say you're just going to do $100, 35 bucks, and uh, you want to triple Martingale. All right. Well, you're going to have to start with, uh, you know, Right here. So you're going to have to start with uh, 50 cent bets. And um, within four triple martingales, you're at $40, right? So you're pretty much at your stop loss. So how do we make that last? Well, there's a very simple way to increase the uh, progression. You can still get eight progressions 
with only risking $40 of your bankroll. And the way you do that is you wait for the same column or dozen to come out four to six straight spins in a row. Then you will bet the other two columns or dozens for progressions. So you'll bet it here for progressions. That will give you eight, eight spin protection, only betting 40, risking $40 of your bankroll. And this is a much smarter way to play than to risk the entire bankroll in one session because you can easily lose up to eight spins. I'm telling you, you can. So let's go to the traditional method of betting roulette. So let's say you're starting with $5. Again, you get more on betting single bets. You definitely get more spin protection. But like I said, I've seen the same colors come out 19, 20 times in a row. I know people have seen it 25 times in a row and more. So, you know, you have to at some point take a loss. So another way to do this is simple, very simple way of doing it is you're going to wait for five to more and more spins. Maybe you wait eight spins and then you start your progression. So it takes a little more patience. you got to wait around a little bit more, and there's ways to do that. But, okay, let's say you're betting $200, $70 bankroll. Let's just call it $80. You're doing $5 bets, right? So you want four spin protection, but you also wait f for five of the same color or high, same high-low or same odd-even to come out in a row, and then you bet against it for... After it comes out five times in a row, you bet against it four times, and now you're getting, you're betting the streak won't be nine compared to betting the streak won't be four or five because the four or five is easy streak. Um, so that's the better way to do it, in my opinion. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of martingaling. I also have a much better strategy for doing single bets. Uh, it's not my strategy. It was, it was provided to me by one of my users, but I've done about 20 sessions using this strategy. I will post the link down below. If you want to bet single bets uh, and you're just starting out and you have a small bankroll, the strategy is called snakes and ladders. And what you should do is you should go watch my videos. I play it. I start off with small bankroll and I eventually grow my bankroll pretty good. And, um, it's a system that works, but there is no 100% guaranteed system. And one thing about my channel is I post my losses because everybody has losses, just not everybody posts them. So I post my losses um, and uh, you know test a lot of different strategies on my channel, and you guys could go watch them for yourself. Uh, but the great thing is uh, I think you could do this system better uh, and then if you don't want to do the bet against the trend, some people don't, some people want to bet against the trend, you don't martingale on a loss, but you increase your bet on the win and do uh, a positive progression. Um, but that way, too, you don't actually risk your entire bankroll. Um, uh, if you just simply martingale your bets five, six times, you're, it's very easy to lose. Uh, so I think... Um, this is the best way to play Christopher Mitchell's system. Uh, now, the other thing is you should probably check out my free um, software, well, Excel spreadsheet on following the trend. I'm going to show it to you in just a second, and then we're going to go to the online roulette table and test out some of these progressions. So let's get right to it. Okay, first of all, guys, I have two free tools for you guys to go download at my website for free. If you use Excel, they'll help you with your bankroll. Basically, this is just a bankroll tracking spreadsheet. So basically, you take whatever your starting balance is, let's say it's $500, and um, you start here, right? So you enter 500 bucks, and uh, let's say you, you want to play for you know 5%, $25 of so your daily goal pro profit is uh, $25. Your estimated balance after profit is 525. 
and let's say you make uh, $520, right? So that's your win. Uh, that's your variance from your goal. And it'll carry that amount to the next session. And you can put whatever notes here. And it's just a good way to track it. And you come in and say, hey, I want to make 10% uh, today. Okay, now you're going to try and make 52 bucks, And you can just go from there. So it's a quick, easy way to, to track your, your wins and losses. And, and, and uh, I think bankroll management is very important when gambling, uh, especially online. So uh, it's a great uh, tool for you guys to use. You can get it free at my website. And then I have another tool here. Now, this is one of my favorite roulette tools I use when I play. So it's a very simple, very simple uh, tool to use. So if you're playing roulette, right? Now, let's say five comes out, right? Okay, so now it's going to tell you five, which is a red number. It's going to tell you it's an odd number. Tell you it's a low number, 118. It's going to tell you it's a first dozen number, a second column number. Uh, this is the go back one or go back two. Go back would be, let's say five came out twice in a row. That would be a go back one. Now let's say five came out, let's say, let's say seven came out next and then five came out again. That would be your go back two. So it's, it's when the same number comes out the second time. So it's an easy way to track that. Now it'll tell you any of the five numbers here. So like let's say 25 comes out. Right, so now you see that fives and twenty fives, the five, the numbers ending in fives are coming out. Uh, it's just a good way to track it. But now let's say you're doing Christopher Mitchell's system. You're waiting. Now you see five red numbers came out in a row, or five five odd numbers came out in a row. So now you want to bet black and start your progression. So let's say six comes out, boom, black number comes out, you win. Or let's say. Let's say uh, five comes out, then seven comes out, a couple more reds. Now you're on your third progression, and then six comes out, and boom, you got your black number. And uh, it's a quick, easy way as you, you just update it as you go. Uh, it'll let you see things quick, you know, because you may be looking at the board, and they don't give you a lot of time to make your plays. So you simply just type in your number. It tells you what it shows you the pattern of what's coming out. Right, uh, it's it's especially like if you're playing columns, right? It's really hard to remember which column um, keeps coming out in a row, right? So let's say you get four straight columns here, right? This first column, you get seven comes out. Well, it's not going to come out four times in a row, but basically what I'm trying to show you here is you can see the streak on the columns, and uh, now you can be like, oh wow, four progressions. If it comes out again. Okay, oh, seven's not going to come out five times in a row, but I'm just doing first column number. But now you could bet these two columns because you're going to bet that streak is going to run out. And that's just a great way. Uh, to me, it's a great tool to visualize what's going on on the roulette table. Uh, you know, it's easy to see, yeah, 10 straight black came out in a row. So I get that. That's easy to see. But when you start getting to the columns and dozens and the go backs, uh, this this will you'll be able to visualize it very quickly because you don't get a lot of time to bet between spins, and it's a great tool to use. And it, you could download it free on my website and uh, put it to use. Now we're going to go to the online roulette table. We're going to try my revamped method for playing Christopher Mitchell's roulette strategy, and we're going to have more success uh, doing it. So let's go right to. The online roulette. All right, guys, let's get right into it. We're on the same table that Christopher Mitchell plays. I like this table too. It's a great table. Um, basically, I'm just going to try and do a quick demonstration. Now, I put the total bet sequence cost right here on the side. I'm only going to go four uh, and then five on the single bets, just showing you the way I would do it compared to the way he does it. And uh, the reason is, just demonstrate. I don't actually like to play this way, uh, but I think if you want to try his system, I think this is the way to make it work. Now, I have, well, let's close that out. I am using the template, as you see, updating the numbers. So let's, uh, 12 just came out. Or what came out? Uh, it was 35, then 12. Okay. Uh, so when you were waiting, 
and you're not playing, sometimes I just place like a small bet on red and black just so that they don't kick me off for being activity as I w await for whatever plays I want to make. So again, we're looking here and you're seeing this is what's come out so far since I got in here. So you have four even a row, then one odd. And, and as you see, the streaks don't go long. So, but, but what I would do is if you're just martingaling from the first bet, uh, you're going to be on your fifth martingale after five straight spins. So that's not the way to do it. In fact, if you waited five, jumped in at the sixth one, you would hit your bet. And that's the way I would do it. Uh, see columns, dozens, columns and dozens don't come out in long streaks as much. So they're a little bit better if you're patient. Okay, so 30 came out again all right so we're, we're waiting for a, a specific combo and um you know i'd like to get a couple of these in a row maybe if i get three in a row i'll do three progressions and bet that it won't come out six times but i do think the safer way is to wait till there's six or seven in a row especially if you're not in a rush and you got time to kill and you want to play take your time wait for a, a long sequence then make your bets and you can increase the bets too you could you know if you're only going to do three or four progressions and increase your bets okay so we have 30 then eight all right so I'm just going to make a bet as we wait okay so we have three even in a row, 12, 38. Uh, so let's see if I can't get to five. I'd like to wait till five. 30, 12, 38, okay? Now, I'm going to post a link to some of the videos of me doing the snakes and ladder strategy, doing the single bets. I do think, I'm just playing a basic, progression on this but it, really if you want to go really learn how to do this right on the single bets go learn to play snakes and ladders give it a try uh, watch some of my videos and uh, you'll you can watch me go through around 20 sessions and and have pretty good success all right so 19 that kills the odd or evens the even streak right so sometimes you don't get but okay so here we have high low high low high so that's going back and forth you could bet against that as well the chop um but no rush here the columns and dozens are all over um but see this would have been a good start wait till four in a row come out and you bet I always like the number matching when a nine comes out and you'll see another nine come out you see that a lot a lot of times I do make good money on those. So 29 came out. We're still waiting very patiently. Um, Now, every time you come in, the, the board's different. Sometimes it's very choppy right now, uh, which could be good if that's how you like it. Uh, but sometimes it's also very streaky, uh, where you see like 10 in a row come out. Okay. So, and again, this will be the progressions I'll play. If I do the columns, dozens, I'm just going to do four progressions. Uh, and then over oh, $40. And then 
for the single martingale, I'm just going to do five progressions and risk $31. But really, this uh, roulette spreadsheet I have is really worth having, especially if you have two monitors. I have two monitors set up, so I'm looking at one while I play. And uh, it definitely makes it a lot funner. All right, so 19 came out. So now we have four straight odd, right? So let's just go and bet even, all right? I'll wait for the four progressions now. You could, it's up to you how long you want to wait. Now I'll go, well actually I want to do a dollar bet. So let's go a dollar. Okay. So we will double the bet five times and we're basically betting that the nine straight odds don't come out. But that is possible. Um, you know, you can increase, I mean, you could go a lot farther though. I mean, what's depending on your bankroll. So, like, you could go, you know, a lot further than that too. So, thirty-one came out. So that's a loss. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double up now. Now imagine if you were just straight martingaling, and you had now had five straight odd numbers come out you would already be on your fifth progression. You would already be here right now. So right now we would already be betting $63, risking a whole $63. Actually, I didn't do the sequence right, did I? Yeah, I did, yeah, I did. This is a single bet. Twenty-nine. Okay, so six straight odd numbers came out. So we're gonna rebet and we're gonna double up, right? So we're already at our third progression, and I waited too. I waited, so. We've already had six straight odd numbers come out, so. Now you can move around and, and Margale and then bet something else as well, but, you know. Sixteen, beautiful. Boom! Now we made our hit. We made our profit for that. So we had sixteen. All right. So as you see here, six straight even odds came out. Um, if your martingale limit was only to six, you would have been screwed. Um, but we hit on the seventh bet and we didn't have to risk as much as our bankroll. And that's basically the way I like to play uh, that system. Now, the columns, the dozens, as you see, they're really spread out today. Uh, I would bet in this sequence after four in a row, I would jump in and do three to four progressions and bet seven doesn't come out. But I have seen seven come. I've seen recently seen nine come out. So. Now see, here's another number matching, 16, 36, 9, 9. If you watch some of my other roulette videos, you know I like to bet those because uh, it's a good way to make money. Um, I do a lot of different things. Uh, I actually don't like betting outside bets that much. Uh, I really prefer betting numbers. Um, 
you can bake smaller bets. You don't have to martingale, and you can have much bigger hits. But there's a lot of different ways to play roulette. There's no guaranteed system. Uh, it's really just how you want to do it. Um, I was hoping to get a good column or dozen um, bet here for you guys, but we have not. I'm just not getting. Uh, I'm getting very choppy. So basically, you know, don't just go into the roulette table and play one thing. Play based on what you see happening, right? So in this scenario. I would not bet these until I see that streak come out. I would just wait for long streaks, and then I would bet against the progression there. Now, if you want to take the single betting level to the next level, I definitely think you should try out my snakes and ladders. Not my strategy, but it's one of my subscribers, Jason, gave me the strategy. He let me test it online for everybody. It worked very good. Uh, and if you're just starting out, it's a much, much better system uh, than Christopher Mitchell's. And you'll, you're likely to have a lot more success. All right. So 15. 26. Okay. All right, so imagine if you're betting this first dozen. Has it come out in seven straight spins, right? You can definitely ride these two now and just do positive progressions on these two dozens if you'd like to do that. Um, or you could just make a single bet right now. Like, all right, let's, let's try it right now. This is something a little different. No, I, I'm already out. Of the bet. But I'm saying now you could bet this first dozen. It has to come out in seven straight spins. And then just double your bet on this one five straight times, which you're betting that it's been seven spins since it come out. You're betting it won't be 12. Right? So you could do your same Martingale bet. Okay, so 32, right? That's the third dozen again. Okay, so as you see, we have eight straight bets where it did not come out. So let's just bet. You could do it this way. Now you could bet. Let's just go 50 cents. Uh, pays two to one. And that, you know, this, we're going to bet that streak eventually ends. But that these streaks can be long. I, I have to warn you. They can be long. But, you know. It's one way to do it. I mean, it's been eight straight spins since a low number came out. Well, the first doesn't. Some of these numbers have come out, but. But you are betting the cold numbers, but eventually it's all streaks end. So four, boom, we got the hit, boom. And maybe you just have a three progression to start out. You go five to 10 to 20 to 40. Boom. You win. Okay? That's another way to do it. Uh, basically, you're watching what's going on the board. You're going to use my spreadsheet here because it's much easier to see what's happening. You just look for long lines or even just it could be a long white line. Look at this. The first doesn't went eight spins without coming out. That's and you, if you bet that up to four to five progressions, you're going to bet the twelve. It's not going to go twelve straight spins or longer, and you only have to double that bet. So there's a lot better ways to play than just martingaling the first five six straight times and then going broke. Um, okay, so we got fifteen. Okay, so 15 came out, and as we still see, the dozens and columns are very spread out. So, but we did hit a streak on here. It wasn't the streak I was thinking. It was eight straight spins <laughs> without that first dozen coming out. But, uh, you know, we're not getting a lot of uh, streaks there. But anyways, these are just examples of how you could play 
uh, and much smarter ways without risking your entire bankroll have a stop loss set up. I suggest 25 to 35% of your bankroll, uh, unless you're like $50 and just do like 50% of your bankroll and, and you could do small 50 cent bets and just wait for streaks. And when you need to not get kicked off, you just bet 50 cents on red, 50 cents on black. The only thing that could get you is a zero and that'll keep you in the game. Okay, so four came out again. Uh, on the go back. See, that's a second. I call that the go back too. Uh, that's where a number comes out here. You could bet those too. If you see it happening a lot, then you bet it. And this spreadsheet will keep track of that. You don't have to even worry about it. So this is the way I like to play. This is one of the ways I like to play roulette. Um, and I think it's a much more a logical common sense way and it's going to let your bankroll last a lot longer and probably give you a lot more success than to they will kick you off for being inactive um, so and i just did small bets because just wanted to give you guys an example of what you can do especially if you have small bankrolls okay so you get another number matching here right four 34. Uh, I like when I see this traditionally when I play my normal way. Um, look, these two numbers are hot too. 434, 434, number matching. I like playing number matching, but I also like to play the neighbor. So I'll, when I do number matching, I'll, I'll select 14, 4, 34. I'll select all five of those numbers and basically I have 20 numbers covered. I won't bet the outside bets. And I'll try and get a hit that way. I also like betting these hot numbers too, if I see them coming out though. So like 26 came out, 29, we've already seen them come out. So they're worth betting right now. But, you know, that's a different strategy, different ways of playing that you can watch my other roulette videos, uh, especially my more recent ones for how I play like that. Um, okay, so we had 434. All right, so you had the first column. 4, 34 in a row. Now you had 25. Okay, so I'm going to just do, so we had the first column come out three times in a row, right? So I'm going to bet a triple martingale now. Um, I'll do the triple martingale here. Just to give you guys an example, I'll probably only go three, four progressions. Okay, so now this was what I was waiting for. So as you see on the spreadsheet, 25 came out. You had three straight in that first column. It's been choppy, so I think it's worth betting. But if you have more patience, if you wait till five, that five in a row, six in a row, you're much more safer with holding on to your bankroll because triple martingaling gets big fast. And there's other strategies for this too, for playing the columns and doesn't sell. 14, right? So boom, you got the hit. We waited three times in a row. So 14 come out, boom, we hit that middle column. So bottom line is if you were triple martingaling and you weren't waiting, you would already been at this fourth progression here, which would have been your limit if you're playing with a small bankroll, right? And it could easily go to five, six, seven, eight. I saw nine the other day. So really, if you if you have time, the more time you have, the better. If you wait to this five or six progression where you see it in a row using my spreadsheet, then you start your progressions. Yeah, you're, you're betting it's not going to be 10, 11 times. Your bankroll is much, much safer that way. And, you, and you're going to lose a lot less money. And you could cap off your total uh, bet to only be a portion of your bankroll. And if you lose, you take the loss. You come back another day, another session, and you go from there. So that's how I play. And that's the better way to play Christopher Mitchell's style of play. Now he'll play hot numbers. Now if you do want to play hot numbers and, and ride streaks, you can do that too. And the way to do that is, it's not very streaky here, so I want to do it in this session. But if, if you notice it's streaky, what you do is after you win, 
you increase your bet by what you just want. And you try and go three or four spins in a row where you increase your bet and then you take your profit. Maybe at that four, third or fourth straight win. And that's a better way than martingaling directly after a loss. But uh, the game of roulette has a lot of streaks and a lot of them are long. So I think using common sense and being patient and waiting for the correct time to jump in is a better way to play. Uh, okay, so so as you see, we didn't lose one bet just playing this way, and we could keep doing. We could keep going playing this way. And when it's choppy here, you could you could wait till three spins if you want. But uh, the streaks come, so I would always say at least five spins. I'd wait. Um, and and this is a strategy you could use for anything. I really like the idea of waiting for one column to get really cold, go eight, nine spins without a hit, and then do five progressions there, and you got like 14 spins, and try it that way. Uh, but the thing is, is with roulette, is you want to protect your bankroll, and you need a stop loss. You have to ha know where your stop loss is before you start playing. And I'm, I'm suggesting 25 to 35% Unless your bankroll is fifty dollars, then just do fifty or do your whole fifty dollars. But you know, if you got two hundred bucks, make it a fifty dollar bankroll. Go from there. Do it that way. Now, if you like this video, you want to see different strategies. I play. I have tons of roulette videos, tons of different tests, doing different roulette strategies. And uh, you're welcome to watch. Um, I will post snakes and ladders if you like the single bets. It is vastly superior than Christopher Mitchell's system of betting the single lines. I will show you how to do it in my videos. Uh, I'll post a link below. You can go watch it. I'll post a link below for the Excel spreadsheet for the bankroll management and for the roulette tracking. They're both free. Just go to my website, download them. Uh, I really want you guys to play roulette fall in love with it it's a great game uh, but you just have to have reasonable ex expectations because uh, there is no guaranteed method to winning in roulette so thank you so much for joining me i will see you guys next time if you have any comments or questions feel free to contact me below uh, you can give me a hit me up on instagram or twitter i'm happy to answer any of your questions help you guys out any way you need uh and join the join my online roulette community. We're we're building a great group of guys, just playing roulette, looking for ways to be more successful, and uh, we're very very uh, fair, reasonable, and we're not going to tell you you're going to make millions of dollars gambling because you're not. It's just not reality. It, it you know gambling is more about fun, but uh, bankroll management to me is probably the most important thing to losing less money and having a lot more fun gambling so anyways that's all i got for you guys i hope you enjoyed this video hope you found it helpful get the spreadsheets down below and let me know what you think i'll talk to you guys later